The Darlene Chronicles documentary is by far P.J. O'Connell's most popular production. But Patrick John O'Connell produced over 100 documentary programs after joining Penn State University in 1968, primarily it's focusing on the rural Pennsylvania rural experience. Pennsylvania. But I have to remind you that things are not always that way. Incest, child molestation, physical and sexual abuse, and other unspeakable crimes occur far too often in our rural cities towns, and homes. P.J. O'Connell received a bachelor's in journalism from Iowa State University in 1956. He moved to Pittsburgh in 1963 to work at TV stations WIC-TV and WQED-TV. Between 1963 and 1968, O'Connell produced several documentaries there. In 1970, O'Connell was introduced to the Myers family in nearby Holidaysburg, PA. Press it again. Don't do any good. And I, I, I could stay with my son. I lived with him for two years. Neighbors directed us across the valley to a new stage in Darlene's life, a house that she had purchased for twenty thousand dollars. Out on the trips at the jo on the job at the time, and. Uh, she didn't know I came in the hallway, and she turned around and said, oh, On another visit in 1988, Tracy, Darlene's second daughter, was at home. P.J. O'Connell's final words years. stick with me to this day. Perhaps in another 25, someone will return and continue the Darlene Chronicles. P.J. died on March 27, 2006, when he was struck by a car while bicycling near his home in Arizona. He was 70 years old.